Vladimir Falca was in the stands, but he definitely wasn't missed as Colombia broke down the defensive of Greeks in style to start their World Cup campaign with a 3-0 win and 3 points. Hello and welcome to the beautiful game here on CNN IBN. I am Sanjeev Mukherjee. Yet another uh, experience of Latino heat as Colombia taking full points in their first game. And to talk about not only that, but also the fight between Viva England and Forza Azuri, as they would uh, love to uh, call it. Karim Ben Sharifa, one of Indian club football's finest tactical minds, also the chief coach of Pune FC. And of course, the man who's called, uh, or rather regarded as the voice of Indian football, Novi Kabadia. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to the show. But before I get to Karim and Novi, let's take you through whatever unfolded in this game. Co Colombia celebrating their return to the World uh, Cup stage uh, for the first time since 1998 with a 3-0 win over Greece. Now, the Colombians, who are without their star striker, Adam Alfalcao, uh, now, he, they didn't need uh, too much time breaking down the usually dour and defensive Greeks. Pablo Armero's uh, uh, shot taking a huge deflection and Greek goalkeeper was this Carnesis had no chance. The celebrations after that goal were something special as he became the first Colombian to score in the World Cup since 1998. Now Greece kept hanging in there and it was 1-0 at half time but in the 58th minute a typical poacher's goal from Teofilo Gutuez making it 2-0. Greece were unlucky when Gijekas hit the post with an empty goal in front of his um, in, in, in his range just after that. But the Los Caderos had too much flair for the Greeks and James Rodriguez made it 3-0 in half time in the final time and that's the way it stayed. All right, let's take you through uh, how this match unfolded as per the numbers. The statisticians delight if I could say. Look at this for once. 3-0 is the score line but possession, yes, Greece enjoying 54% of possession compared to 46 for Colombia. 12 shots apiece for both the teams. Colombians getting 8 on target, Greece on 7. A little fairly ill tempered match for um, uh, 3 yellow cards there, 4 corners there. But what mattered most for both the teams, it seems here, is that uh, none of them could make utilize of ball possession. Uh, Karim, uh, yes, you were right when you say that the numbers do not actually reflect. Uh, the, the final scores of this match. But uh, were you a bit disappointed if I could start with by asking the way the Greeks have played? Because over the last two or three international competitions, whenever we've seen them, there is no difference in style whenever we see Greece. We always know what to expect from them. Well, the, the main reason is because Greece was never a team that, uh, or, or a country that produced uh, technical, skillful players. There is a, a very clear uh, lack of creativity, especially on the midfield, uh, even up front. Today, if you look at the statistics, mm -hmm. uh, they wasn't far away from the, the game was very balanced. They also create chances, but they couldn't uh, have the players who can, who can make a difference, uh, especially on that uh, final turn. Final turn. And also the fact that uh, Colombia were pressing hard. Good to see uh, Novi Colombians were back. Uh, certainly no Rene Hugueta or Carlos Valderrama. But the fact is that they were pressing really hard right from the word go. Yes, they look a little bit unsettled in their defense if properly attacked. But the fact of the matter is they did get the, uh, the goals which are necessary and important. And of course the three points which they pocketed by the end of this game. It's a couple of factors here. I think... The, you know, the early start, afternoon start, one o'clock start, massive crowd support that went in favor of Colombia. Second, to their advantage, they showed the greater fire in the belly. You know, there were lots of these flicks. The second goal is an example. At full stretch, the ball was flicked on to Gutierrez, who then banged it into the net. And there was much more desperation, desire for a win. Uh, Greece was very predictable. Of course, if that Gekas goal had gone in. And you know, it's becoming a bit of a Greek tragedy, the World Cup. Mm -hmm. 94, first match, 4-0 loss to Argentina. 2010, 2-0 loss to South Korea. Mm -hmm. And now a 3-0 loss to Colombia. They're just not getting their script right. It's too defensive, Autoregal's team. And though the Portuguese coaches try to change it around, there's very little flair going forward. Right, maybe they've got the understanding of the Trojan horse concept uh, totally the wrong way. No, we